question, how big is your God? See, a lot of times the issue with humility is not, is not the issue of, of, of what I think of myself, but it's the issue of how I view God. And here's my question. Is your butt bigger than God? Now, let's say that these two metal balls, these hot metal balls, represent circumstances in your life. Let me give you some circumstances. Represent sin. Represent hurt and unforgiveness. Represent what other people have done to you an offense, or represent your own failures and shame. If I take this, the smaller one, this is my inch and five eighths, inch and three quarters uh, toe hitch, and I put this thing at 450 degrees into this, I have the desired effect. I say, that water can't handle it. It's too much. It's too much for you, God. It's too much. My, my problems are too big. But the, the offense is too big. I've done too many bad things. God could never forgive me because the only thing that's going to happen to this water is it's going to heat up and it's going to change and it's going to get angry. And you can make tea out of that right now. And that thing will eventually smoke away. And the problem really isn't the size of your problems. Maybe the problem is the size of your God. Would you like to put your hand in this water right now? Just as cold as the hose it came out of. Maybe the problem is simply the size of our God. It's not the size of our problems. Because God can take our problems. God can take our sin. God can take all that stuff, and he can extinguish it in his love. And the reality is that this is just a small thing. How big is God's love for us? way bigger than can fit in here. It says that he holds the oceans in the palm of his hand. You think he can take it? Yeah, he can take it. There's nothing that we can bring to God that he goes, too much for me. And if you think that there's something that you can bring to God that he would say too much for him, it simply means that we have the wrong view of God, that he's too small, and maybe that's the problem that we're having.